Hey guys, Ice Carrot here, and today I'm going to show you how to trade with 1k or less than 1k. And basically, with these methods, literally anyone can do it. It's a good start to trading because all you need to do is play two matches, and then you can do the methods I'm showing you today. So, the first method you can do is a really simple one you search silver. I've done it in a video before. You search silver 250, just hit search, and you look at rares and see if they're a decent card. So, this guy you see. He's got like 90 pace, his league, he's in South African league but he's got 90 pace. So I can pick him up for 300 coins. And basically like this guy, he doesn't look at the best stats, check his league. Bunders too, so he isn't worth it. And you scroll along, look if the players are half decent. League 1, 250 coins, that's a good one. And you pretty much just keep going along, look if there's any half decent players, like a good league, good pace. Just like a high rated card. If they're like 70 plus and they have like average stats, I'd still recommend picking them up for 250 coins. This guy was his league. Pro league, no, not worth it. If they're only going for 250 coins, I recommend you buy them. But if it's a 300 coin bid, only bid on the good cards. This guy, championship. I might pick them up. But um, I might just leave a couple of these. And see if we can... Well, the servers are being bad. But yeah, that's the first method. It's a really, really simple one. The second method is kind of like that as well. You search 1k max price. Because that's how many coins you have. And you search 500 coins min. And basically, this will filter out the half-decent um, silver cards. And basically, you just need to scroll along until you see a bid. So, um, there are a lot less bids for this because you're putting a 500 coin minimum price. But when you do find a bid on a card here, they're a good deal. So Darren Bent, I'm looking on um, Fuckbin right now. Bent, here he is Darren Bent, he goes for 950 coins. So if you can pick him up for 650, sell him on for 950, that's an easy 300 coin profit. And all you do is just scroll along, see if there's any bids. And if there is one, you just whack a bid down, like it's really, really simple. Quite a lot of the time you can win the card, but I think we just got out bidded. But I'll just look. He's going for over a K, so I'll leave him. Yeah, Ben, we'll bid 800. So, you see we've won these cards earlier, so you check the price. So, it's... Here he is. His minimum buy now is 350 and then a 450. So, I can sell him off for 400 coins. Making a super easy, like, 150 coin profit. And, like, that's just so, so simple. A third, the, like, the third method you can do is... It's quite harder to get dudes, but you search gold and then 250 or 300. I usually go 250. And you see all these like discard silvers 75 rated. And all you have to do is just look along, see if there's like a half decent card or what a card who looks out of place. Put a bid on them. At worst, you can discard them for 300 coins, so you're not losing anything. Wow, that's a deal on a grease, but, but I can't pick them up. But you can make some really nice profits on players. Which people don't expect to go for much. So I'm going to scroll along here. You see I already bidded on one of the cards. You can ignore the rares because you're not going to win them on bids. But you just keep looking. Look for a card which doesn't pop up much or has like some high stats. I'd recommend like an 85 plus stat. And if there are 76 rated card, bid on them as well. Because you can always just discard them. This guy looks decent. Shalko Bunders. Let's put a bid on him. And you'll win most of these cards. Fletcher. Oh, someone's been on them already. And yeah, just bid 300 coins of them. If you know they're worth a lot more, then bid as high as you think they're worth. But yeah, just whack a 300 coin bid on them. And it's just a simple way to make profit. So um, doing these methods, I recommend you do them up to about 5k if you want to start making big profits after that. I still, you should do them at least up to um, 3k because um, about at 3k you could swap out the methods a bit. So you see we won this marina here. At worst we can quick sell them for 300 coins. Let's check his price, see if we can make some profit. Marina. Where is he? Wait, there he is, Moreno. He goes to 350 coins. So we made a small profit there of like, it'll be like 40 coins after tax, which isn't too bad and it's just so simple you can bid on them. But you see, we won this Darren Bent, we can sell him on for 1.9k. Oh uh, no, 950 coins, sorry. And this Mayor guy, what's he worth? It's probably 350. But, 
if he doesn't sell, we can always just discard him. So like, there's just some easy profits there. So in this episode, I've showed you three methods to do this with. We'll try and list other guy. I'll see if they sell on next episode. But um, yeah, here are three methods for the 1k profit, uh, uh, the 1k price range. I recommend you try this out because when you have like 1k or less, you can't really do too many different trading methods. But these methods, the players should sell fairly quickly, and you're making small profits. But you do it if you do it in bulk, you can make some nice coins. Um, the next episode, guys, do you want me to do 3 to 5k, or should I just go straight to like 5k or 5 to 10k? So drop a comment below for that. I loved your support on yesterday's video, all the nice comments. So thank you guys for that. And yeah, sorry for the slightly later video, but I've been out literally all day. So yeah, that's about it for me, guys. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.